All right, last week we showed you California congressional candidate Kate Monroe plugging a hole in the border wall with razor wires she bought with her own money in her own pocket. Now, during their trip to the border, Gavin Newsom is taking a photo op next to her hard work. Kate Monroe joins us ahead of Super Tuesday. Um, how did you feel about the governor, uh, I mean, finally visiting the border area, but then posing right in front of your hard work? Well, I think my first reaction was to laugh. Like, you can't make up the ridiculous stuff that happens on the left, right? It's like, oh, thank you for coming down to visit the border all these years too late. But it really kind of pisses me off. It's like, that's exactly what most politicians do. They they stand for things, but they actually do very little. I, I thought it was actually embarrassing for him. And you can go, you know, back up into Sacramento and do your feckless, malicious neglect of a job. Yeah. Now we're finding out that 70% of the legal crossings in February happen in blue states. So it's not just California now. It's all of the liberal states right now. Yeah, it's not a huge surprise. You you have, you know, sanctuary states, sanctuary cities, you turn mm -hmm. the whole country into a sanctuary country basically, and you wonder why it's decimating the infrastructure in all of these cities. Their policies are so ridiculous. They will go after Democrat supremacy at literally any cost, even the cost of a life like Lake, Lake and Riley. They do not care. Yeah, so when you're looking at all these border numbers, it looks like the numbers are starting to drop in Texas. We're only at 42,000 uh, in Texas, but Arizona has 54,000, California 32,000, New Mexico 11,000. It looks like what Governor Greg Abbott is doing to secure the border is working, pushing them back, putting that razor wire, uh, as well as those shipping containers, is working. But it's not the same for your state of California. No, in our state of California, regular everyday veterans have to go down and secure our border. I mean, we, we invite it here. We actually import people into our country, into our state. Um, it's not really that difficult to secure the border. We've now secured three sites and we've gone back to check and all the razor wire is still up. So the fact that we're not doing it when it's very simple just tells you everything you need to know that they want it and it's purposeful. You know, Kate, I didn't get to ask you this last week, but I mean, since the governor is posing in front of your wire, you think they're going to pay you back for the job that you did that they should have been doing? I mean, in Texas, we've been trying <laughs> to get reimbursed from the federal government. Um, <laughs> you got a state that's taken almost credit for your work. You think he's going to give you an invoice back with that money? Uh, no, not even a thank you card. I'm sure he was there trying to get him to take it down. But in reality, payback enough for me was understanding that we lit the country on fire and showed people that we don't have to go quietly into the night. That's all the, the uh, payment I need. I feel very good about what we did. So I don't need a, a single nickel from him. No thank you. Yeah, you're a boss, Kate. Thank you so much for joining the program <laughs> again. I'm Steve Ducey. I'm Brian Kilmeade. And I'm Ainsley Earhart. And click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis.